Church of SFU. This is something in the news which is interesting and it fits in kind of with my video yesterday on how to cure homosexuality with homeopathy. Um, and this one's of special concern to any of you out there who are Australians. Um, so if you remember back many years, this is from the Sydney Morning Herald today, I, I'll link it in the underbar. Um, John Howard, our last, well actually now our second last Prime Minister, who was a conservative, uh, introduced a school chaplaincy funding so he would actually pay schools to employ um, chaplains, which to my American viewers pr probably sounds uh, a bit crazy, especially when you consider that in a lot of places right now, the religious classes that these chaplains give are actually part of the general curriculum at school and students are required to either attend or do nothing for that period of time and sit in a room being bored. Um, which is something that we've been trying to get uh, ethics classes to um, be an alternative to students having to sit through religious classes in school. Um, but there's another issue now that came up which is that one of the groups that is enrolled in this program to provide chaplains is the uh, Scripture Union of Queensland and Tasmania and the Australian Central Territory and they hold such enlightened views as homosexuals will burn in hell. Um, so, I mean, just imagine your child being in school being forced to attend a scripture class and then being taught by some uh, weird uh, supposedly trained uh, chaplain that gay people will, or, sorry, homosexual people or queer people will burn in hell. Uh, that seems like a pretty terrible message. And considering that, Australia just like everywhere else in the world there's still a lot of discrimination um, and kids that are you know, queer still have huge problems with actually coming to terms with their um, with their sexual preference the idea that we would allow uh, people in school adults people in positions of authority to tell these children that they're going to be burning in hell is probably a bad idea. I mean, we should probably think about not letting that happen. Um, so if you're from Australia, then uh, f get onto it. I'm not sure whether there's any uh, anyone to turn to yet in terms of protesting this. I'll check it out, and if I can find something, I'll put it in the underbox. But it's something to be aware of, something to be aware of that we need to change. And also in general, especially if you're living in New South Wales, um, make sure that you give strong support to the ethics classes for, for schools as an alternative for scripture classes, um, because that would be a very good thing if that could um, be established all across Australia to at least, while that still gives students the option as part of their normal schooling to actually have religious edu uh, not just religious education, but specific religious education. So it's not comparative religion, it's education in one specific um, school of religion. It would at least give parents and children that want an alternative, that alternative. And I think that's very important, especially myself being German, having gone to a German school. I actually um, took, I took ethics uh, to replace religion um, in about year nine or so. And that was probably some of the most interesting and most useful time I spent in school. It's benefited me far more than almost everything else I learned in school, probably. Um, maths and reading and writing aside. Uh, anyways, everyone have a good weekend. I will see you guys all on Sunday or Monday. Well, I won't see you, but maybe you'll see me, and then if you make a video, then maybe I'll see you anyways. So. Alright guys, see you all later.